Hello and welcome to this exciting edition of Take the Fair Out of the Gear with me, Mr. Chumley Warner. And me, Jason Bangers. And have we got a treat for you today. It's the mightiest drum machine in the smallest possible box. It's the Zoom MRT3. So we're going to zoom in. Stay tuned in. Check we. It's good to be back with you tubers. Um, we haven't been out here for a little while and that's all down to me unfortunately, I've not been very well. I don't want no oohs or ahs or anything like that. It's been nearly a month and uh, I haven't quite kicked it yet. Just thought I'd let you guys know, right? That's why Simon's been doing some videos on his own as you might have noticed. But today we're back in the studio. We have got, as Simon said, well this is the Zoom MRT 3B drum machine and he's got just because Simon's like greedy, he's got to have the black one and the silver one. <laughs> well, <laughs> like we always say, one for each hand makes everyone happy. Shall we have a demo? Yeah, and uh, yeah, let's, let's have a demo because it is rather good. You want to hear it, don't you, Tubes? All right, come on in. Goes on and on. Because <laughs> obviously it, it uh, shows all the preset sounds in there. Oh, what, what I like about them is you can buy a really cheap drum kit, electric drum kit, and, and MIDI that thing. To it and you'll be playing them sounds instead of what your crappy cheap drum kit has got because the sounds on that are damn good for what it is the sounds are, are very awesome yeah so should we let's, let's have a few tell me about it because yeah. I, I know nothing well actually I've, maybe a few answers in the comment i couldn't find the, which year this came out but i think it's, it's a while ago yeah, it looks old let's just tell you about it then so it's got apparently 200 drum and percussion sounds it's got your velocity sensitive pads here. Which is always handy for the old. It's always handy for that kind of thing. And the other thing about the pads is they all light up so you, you can see which drums are playing if you're playing a pattern. We've got 200 preset patterns. You can have 99 of your own user patterns. Uh, you've got 50 preset kits and you can program 20 of your own user kits. And the interesting thing is, well, we'll just say it does, as it is now, it runs on four AA batteries or you can have a power supply. But at the time when it came out with the MRS4, which was the four track, which we can show you, apparently, you could you could come out of your MRT3 into your four track on the auxiliary input, come and then you can MIDI them up, and then they would exactly sync. Okay, do you so, mean the four track recorder? Yeah, mm. so you could have you could have your little drum machine and your four track recorder is like a. So you don't use the, any of the four tracks. Yes, yeah, so yes, yeah, so you could yes, yeah, so you could use your four tracks <clears> recording. They have that permanently MIDI'd up for your drums. That's useful. So it was like your whole little Zoom studio. Yeah, that's very handy. So what we ought to say is, I think I've got this right, if, if anyone knows, have a guess at the original price in dollars, because that's the only one I've found. Okay, um, uh, Zoom stuff has never been mega expensive, so I'm going to say 250 but then it all depends how long ago these were out, if they were out in the 80s or 90s, well, which it's bound to have been. Um, I'd still say 250 dollars $250 a month, I think it's probably a bit too expensive, but there you go. Well, apparently, they were a hundred dollars. Oh, a hundred, yeah. Okay. So, so I think what the idea with, with Zoom selling them for that was like the Elisa's SR16. They were coming in well under the price of the SR16. Yeah, they were about 130, 160, anywhere between, weren't they? Yeah, the and SR16. This, and as you just heard, the sounds in these, it's, it's just amazing. Yeah, very good. So it's the first time I've ever heard one. Me too. And eBay prices, any idea of eBay prices in pounds this time? Okay, so, 50 to 60. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, I've seen them on eBay, 50 to 70. Depends if you've got yeah. the box condition, etc. A bit about a fair price. And every, everyone wants to know, how much did Mr. Chubbly Warner pay? I'll probably know you 20 quid, you know, or you probably got the two for 30 or something. Not quite that cheap. Well, actually, it was the same guy. I got the uh, this uh, black one here, uh, plus the... Uh, Little Zoom four track, fifty quid for the pair, so fifty pounds. So they were twenty five pound each. But for the two drum machines? No, for twenty five pounds for this and twenty five pounds four track. for the four track. Okay. And uh, yeah, they came in the boxes, manual. So, so how much did you pay for the other one? 
Haven't a clue. I've had it for so long. Oh, you've just as smart up as yours, right? Yeah, okay. the, the silver one I've had for years. I can't even remember where it came from, how much I paid. Germany's got so much stuff he doesn't <laughs> even know what he's got. That applies to me as well. <laughs> but like you say, you know, when I saw it for like £25 and the guy said you could have the four track for £25 as well, I thought... Well, it's the black one. You've got to have the silver and black, so yeah. there you go. Drum machines are useful things, especially nowadays with your door, because you can, you can literally change the sound of anything you like now. You can just ping it. You know, you know what we mean by pinging it. You just ping it and you can change anything. So long as you've got the dots, you can have whatever sound you want. You can have Abbey Road drums, anything. Um, what's that program called? The drum thing where you can move the mics around the kit and that. I don't know what it's called, but it's bloody good. Yeah, I'm, I'm at a loss right now, but yeah, yeah. We are answers in the comment yeah. if you guess what, it, what we're you, talking about. You know the one we mean. <laughs> it's a hell of a program, but yeah, so long as you've got a MIDI trigger, you're off and, and you're up and running. So the Zoom stuff's great, and um, we particularly like their recording stuff, like we're using the, um, is it the R8? H8. H8, I'm so dyslexic, folks. Yeah, I mean, we use the H8, and we had we had a H6 before that, and Simon's got an H6, and it's such good, reliable equipment. Zoom's never been poor quality, but it's always been cheap. It's never been bad quality, never. A bit like Behringer, really, but Behringer's early stuff was crap, I've got to say. Yeah, the quality wasn't brilliant. No. But, but yeah, if, if you like the Zoom stuff, we, we can bring you the full track. Jay's also got another little Zoom drum machine we I can have, show you. Which has got the best double bass sound in the world. I've never heard anything like it. It sounds like a real double bass acoustic. It's phenomenal. Well, that just about wraps it up. It's just a quick chat, a quick chat, a few sounds. Yeah, it's great to be back out here, guys. Um, hopefully, I'll be well enough to continue doing these like every week. And hopefully, by next week, we'll see. I keep saying that, but I just keep getting back down again. So thanks for tuning in to Take the Fear Out of Gear, guys. It's lovely to have you. This has been Take the Fear Out of Gear with me, Jason Bangers. And me, Mr Chumley Warner. Please hit that subscribe button. Do us the world a good. Like, tap the bell, tell all your friends and enjoy. Yeah, the bell will give you notifications to let you know when our next video is out. So you take care, y'all. We're going check we.